joining me in another video. Today is a very special video. I am doing a before and after collab with a bunch of girls here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for including me in this. I really do appreciate it. So there are four other girls in this collab. We have Carrie from Weight Watchers with Carrie. We have Tammy and her YouTube channel is Healthy Girl. We have Sandy at Let's Get Fit. And we have Victoria at Victoria Gets Fit. I will link their channels down below. Go check them out. They do the same type of videos I do here. Um, I really like watching them and they've lost a whole bunch of weight as well. So this before and after collab is basically just, I'm gonna sit here and talk to you guys about uh, before and after. There's going to be some photos and just me talking about my journey in general. My first official weigh-in was Thursday, October the 6th of 2016. I weighed in at 241 pounds. Now let's just quickly go like a month prior. Um, I My heaviest was almost 250 pounds, um, but at that point um, I was struggling with uh, counting calories and I lost a little bit of weight before I started Weight Watchers, but nonetheless, my starting point was 241. My heaviest when I first officially started my weight loss journey was almost 250. So last weigh-in was last Tuesday, and I weighed in at 171.6. So my total loss on Weight Watchers has been 69.4 pounds. My life before Weight Watchers, like I said, I was calorie counting, but I wasn't realizing what I was putting in my body still. Um, I would be like, oh, this burger 600 calories, I'm going to eat this, um, whatever, I'm over my calories today, I'll still eat this. I was struggling, I was on the struggle bus, um, and even before I started calorie counting, um, I just st struggled in general, and weight has always been a struggle in my life. Um, throughout high school, I've, I've done the um, up and down, I've been smaller, um, I've been heavier, but nonetheless, weight has always been an issue with me. I got married July 9th of 2016. Um, we got engaged about a year prior and I really wanted to lose weight. I waited to the last minute and I tried to like do fad diets and um, you know calorie count which works for people but honestly it just didn't work for me. I just wasn't in the mindset. So I wanted to try and lose weight before my wedding. I wanted to look beautiful in my wedding dress. Um, however, I still did feel beautiful on my wedding day, but I, I, I didn't lose the weight that I wanted to, and I know I could have, but honestly, again, the mindset was not there. Um, so that being said, before my, you know, wedding, I was like, well, I'm marrying my husband. He loves me for who I am. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. And that is true. My husband loves me and loved me for who I was, but that was like, in my mind and I don't know why that was just triggering me to eat unhealthily not work out I had a gym membership um, that I wasn't using I'd maybe go once a month but honestly like there was no control over my eating um, I had really bad eating habits um, I would have dinner and then I'd have a snack and then I'd go and have chips and dip um, my weakness is salt not chocolate it's salt so I can sit down and eat a bag of chips to myself I have been worse than I was prior to Weight Watchers. I would go through McDonald's. I would order two burgers, a large fry, and make chicken sauce and just sit and eat it uh, until I was full, until I was stuffed. I just, I didn't like the way that felt, but at that moment, I was just eating it. And, you know, that being said, I just... I keep saying this, but I literally had no control over what I was eating. I tried the military diet before my wedding. That's like you're eating literally nothing. You're eating like tuna, piece of toast, eggs. Like it's just very minimal eating. Um, I've tried shakes before. I've tried basically everything. Um, but it just wasn't working because I like food and I couldn't control myself. I would go out to birthday parties, um, dinners, and I would literally sit there and just eat whatever was in front of me, wouldn't really realize what's going in my body. Um, I got to a point where I would weigh myself each day and I saw the scale going up, but it wasn't registering like I need to do something about this. I'd be like, okay, next Monday, I'll do this next Monday. Next Monday rolled around, I screwed it up. Okay, next Monday. I am human. We all go through this. I, I just believe it wasn't the time in my life where I was ready. My moment that I realized that I need to get this under control was probably when I hit my 250 um, calorie counting. And it just, I wasn't losing weight. I was just gaining because I was just, I, I don't know what was going on. Um, 
I weighed myself when I got back from our honeymoon at my parents' house, and I was like 249.9. And I was like, this is not cool. I don't feel good. I looked at pictures um, when we were on our honeymoon, and I was like, I'm not happy. I can tell I'm not happy. I'm putting a fake smile on. What am I going to do with myself? So I thought, what did I do in high school? Why did I lose all this weight? Weight Watchers. So the week after, I joined Weight Watchers. Um, I felt better about it already. I, I knew I had that week to prep. Um, I was excited about it. I knew that the system worked, so I was just really excited about starting my new journey. I felt like within that week, my mindset changed from eating everything in front of me to, okay, Mel, let's get real. Um, you can still eat, but you need to control this. The thing I really liked about Weight Watchers and probably the number one reason why I rejoined was is I can eat what I want in moderation. Um, I can have a burger if I want, you know, it's all to do with moderation and it's teaching me how to eat. Um, I went through, I remember the first week of Weight Watchers, I went through my pantry and scanned the stuff I was calorie counting with and there was a dip that I thought was really healthy and it was a roasted red pepper dip. For two tablespoons, it was six points. I'm like, this is why I was not losing weight. Um, I just need to pick foods that um, are better for me and just accommodate for things in my day. I believe that I made the right choice in starting Weight Watchers again, and I 100% have enjoyed my journey um, from the beginning and up until now, and I can't wait till I reach my goal weight. Now, that being said, my goal weight, it was... It's hard because I don't really have a set goal weight. Um, I went into, I do online Weight Watchers, but I went into the meeting to pick up a few things and I just asked what Weight Watchers thinks my, my goal weight is. And they said for my height, I'm almost 5'5", five five, would be like between 140, highest 160. Um, and I said at that point I was like 210 pounds. I'm like, I'm not going to ever reach that. Um, I don't think I can. When I was in high school, I don't think I was even, I think maybe I was 160 at my lowest, maybe 170. I honestly can't remember, but I just didn't think that was achievable for myself. So they told me to go to my doctor. I saw my doctor and at that point I was, like I said, over 200 pounds and she believed that I didn't look 200 pounds. So she gave me a goal of 170. So I am like pretty close to that right now. So once I reach that 170, I'll hit like a little mini goal. Um, but I do believe now that I could get down to 160. Um, I'm going to try. That being said, I just want to kind of lose a little bit extra than what my goal is just because I want a little bit of leeway. Um, and I also have to remember that if I want to maybe go to 150, I have to maintain at 150. And I don't know how difficult that will be. But so basically goal weight is possibly 160. It, to me, it's not the weight. It's it's how I feel, how I look. Right now I'm trying to condition my body to tone up my body because I do have a lot of um, loose skin, which thankfully is retracting and getting um, is getting more like firm. So I'm very thankful for that. I do believe because I am a bit younger that that's happening. But that being said, I'm still going to have loose flab. So I'm not quite sure what a goal weight is, but I do have little mini goals. Um, the mini goals do help me through my journey. For instance, if I have a week that I know that is going to be a little bit more difficult because I have more things that I need to go out to, like dinners, I would make a goal for that week to either maintain um, or just enjoy myself. You know, um, I think that keeps me on track. Another little mini goal was to fit into my um, high school jeans that were size 12, and I did. Um, just goals like that in general, or like if I'm going out for dinner, a goal would be to eat lots of protein, drink lots of water, try not to eat too many carbs, just mini goals like that. And honestly, I feel like the non-skill victories and the goals of like my clothes fitting are the biggest. Um, I also had a goal, obviously, of reaching 199 because I hadn't seen that on the scale forever. So those kind of goals kind of keep me going throughout my journey to kind of push me to keep going. When I first started Weight Watchers, um, honestly, my first week was a little bit of a struggle. At that point, I just felt super down on myself. I felt, I felt really bloated. I felt really big. Honestly, I didn't know how big I was getting until I, I see the photos now of the before and afters. Um, just for myself, that's not the way I wanted to be. I just didn't want to be like that anymore. 
Um, so I needed to change. Um, I felt like I had no energy. I felt like I needed to hide myself. I felt like, you know, I couldn't go out in public because people would judge me. I felt like I couldn't go to the gym because people would judge me. It was a, it was a struggle and I had zero confidence. And now I have so much confidence in myself and so much self-esteem. Um, I, I love wearing clothes now, whereas before I didn't. Um, I just can't believe how, you know, physically and mentally my mind has changed throughout this weight loss journey. Um, I can now go into the gym and push myself. Before when I went to the gym, I would go on the elliptical for 10 minutes, not even break a sweat, do some weights. Now when I go into the gym, I can do the elliptical for half an hour, full speed, high speed, break a sweat. I do classes now. I do sit-ups. I do lady push-ups. I do weights. I do squats. I've never been able to do that before and it's just amazing and I'm, I am very proud of myself for achieving this. I literally would huff and puff when I walked upstairs. I would lose, I'd have no energy and now I just I have so much energy. Love, I love going to the gym. I love doing classes. I have improved a lot physically and mentally in the gym. Um, I'm very pleased and proud of myself for how hard I do push myself and I'm very grateful for that. My eating habits has changed immensely. Um, now I know and I am aware of what I put into my body. Um, I'm eating healthier, but I'm still eating the foods I want to eat. I don't feel like I'm not satisfied. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. I honestly feel like I am, some days I feel like I'm cheating because some days I'm like, I can really have all this. Um, but like when I go out for dinner, now I pre-track or I save my points. Before I would go and order, like I said, two burgers. Now I'll go order maybe a chicken burger or a salad and a side of fries because the salad's a little bit less and then I can still enjoy my fries. Um, sushi, for instance, like instead of picking the fast food items or fast food restaurants, I choose to, to pick something a little bit more healthier. So sushi has been a saving grace for eating out. Um, it just, I can't believe what I used to eat when I went out to what I do now. Um, we went to Dairy Queen, we used to have blizzards, and now I have like a sugar-free fudge bar, unless I use my weeklies and have a uh, blizzard. Like I said, it's all in moderation. I do have cheat meals, um, I do have cheat days, but I just can't believe where I have come from. I've come from a girl that was hiding behind someone that was just waiting to come out, if you understand what I'm saying, and I'm getting emotional. Um, Weight is a huge struggle with a lot of girls and here on YouTube and Instagram we have a huge support system and I just want to thank everybody for pushing me and um, helping me through this journey and I just want to thank all my friends and family, my husband, my parents, my, my brother, you know everybody, my friends. I just, I can't sit here and, and name everybody but everybody in my life that has helped me. Um, this is pretty bad. I don't want to get emotional, but but I know that a lot of you guys out there know how I feel. Um, I just felt like I couldn't do it. I felt like um, I was just going to be stuck where I was for forever. Um, I felt like I wasn't going to be healthy. Um, I, I wanted to have kids, and at that point, I don't didn't want to because of my weight. It might have been an issue to have children, um, but honestly. I've been on Weight Watchers for like, what, a year and six months, and I, I, it's hard to think that I'm here now. Um, I never thought that I would reach 50 pounds. I never thought I'd reach 60 pounds. Never thought I would fit into my jeans. I keep looking over there because they're sitting over there. <laughs> um, it's been a pretty emotional journey. Um, I am very proud of myself. I honestly didn't think I had it in me and I, I had zero self confidence um, but now I'm very confident that I can do this and sustain this um, I'm very happy I think that we're all very hard on ourselves and I feel like everybody needs to stop being hard on yourself because you can do it if I can do it you can do it I honestly didn't think I had this in me and now that I look back and my before and after photos I'm like who was that girl who is that girl that hid behind who was that girl that hid behind her hair and 
I was like, who's that girl that hid behind her hair, hid behind scarves? I, I don't see, that's not me anymore. Um, I, it's just amazing how my weight loss has changed my, it just changed my life. Um, just a no side note on the hiding behind my hair. Um, if you guys didn't see my video in summertime, I had super long hair, like really long hair, and I'd always hide behind it. And I think I hit like a milestone and I was like, I'm cutting my hair off. So I cut it off to like here and I was like, I wasn't even upset about it because before I would have been because I was just so terrified of showing my face. And now I'm like, I love my short hair. So that was a huge step for me and that showed me that I've accomplished so much emotionally, physically and mentally in this journey and I'm very proud of myself. But I need to end this video here because I could just go on and on about it and I just repeat myself. But I really truly want to thank everybody for all your support during my weight loss journey, during my struggles, during my achievements, during everything and thank you to all my family and friends um, for supporting me as well. Don't forget to check out the other girls' videos. Again, they'll be linked in the down bar. Um, I love watching them. Super great girls, so go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in my next video.